the school's challenge quiz trophy, the ultimate prize in a long-standing competition. In the near 50 seasons of the competition, only 14 schools have had the honor of lifting the trophy and taking it home. Only 14 schools have had their names etched in quiz history. With an average of 64 schools entering each year, there must be a clue to what makes these schools so dominant. A special tactic, strategy, or blueprint? We took a trip to seven schools who have held the champion title multiple times to see if we could unlock the secret to coaching a school to championship success. First up, the school with the most wins, Kingston College. This North Street school has won the title 11 times. Kingston College has been in the championships from the beginning and have a long quiz tradition. They're also the first school to win back-to-back -back titles in 1974 and 1975. Good evening, Jamaica. My name is Ricardo Loney. I played quiz in 2004. I lost out um, in the semi-finals to the eventual champions, Calabar. Excellent team there with Aldi and Lee and company. At Casey, it is um, incumbent on you as, a, as an old boy after playing to come back and give to the school. So I have been actively a part of the school trial school set up since 2005. Casey, um, a lot of coaches, lots of coaches. We, we cannot say for other schools that like Casey has one or two coaches. We have a lot of old boys who come back and give off their time willingly. Who's the <laughs> Prepare um, by getting encyclopedias, um, newspapers, the gleaner, the observer, um, fact finders, and we take the time and write questions, you know, because we have an history of what school change schools questions are like. The various areas, the history, the mathematics, the English language, local international affairs, sports, etc. etc. So we do intense research and we plan accordingly. Who's the president of Tennis Jamaica? That's what Noah That is correct. We normally start training in the summer. I think most schools start training in the summer, in July around about. When the summer, summer training starts, we um, put up notice around the schools, invite students to come on and try out for the school training quiz program. We do not limit it to persons who are bright, per se. Personal, the quiz is not about persons who are bright. The quiz is about persons who show the dedication in terms of when you give them stuff to go and know Right? They take the time to know it. Right? That is the important thing. And also the ability to absorb material, large quantity of material. That is of paramount importance in quiz. Come again, Kingston College, push the minutes. The growth have been um, exceptional. In fact, we have a team this year that will certainly challenge um, for the, the trophy. And considering that is the 50th anniversary of TVJ School Challenge Quiz, we want you know, to put on a good show, right? So we are coming, you know, we are very relaxed. We, our training has been going very well and we look forward for the competition to start in January. Just um, do the work, you know, um, be patient. Um, uh, do not be daunted by the tasks, right? Of other, other coaches or other schools. Um, Trust in your method and just give the boy the confidence because confidence is important. Yeah. Very, very important. If you, the, the confidence and the character of a team is built from the confidence and the character of the coach. So if the coach is confident, right, the team will naturally be confident. Happy 50th anniversary to TDJ School Challenge Swiss from Kingston College, the 11 time champion. My name is Anthony Williams. I am a lawyer by profession, and I'm one of the coaches of the Arden High School Illustrious School Challenge Quiz Team. My name is Dan Lee Wadsworth. I'm a teacher of physics, and I'm one of the School Challenge Quiz coaches for Arden High. Arden High School has won the championship six times. They first won in 1973, but did not win again until 1997. But from there on, they have always been amongst the top schools in the competition, reaching the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. 
Well, I started um, as a result of being a player. I have, I have been a player for Arden for three years. I was also the captain of the quiz team uh, in the 1980s. And uh, thereafter, my, my love and interest for our school challenge quiz has never died. I have been coaching for over 20 plus years. I've been coaching for seven years. What is the exact value of gravitational constant? 6.674 times 10 to the negative 11 newton meters squared per kilogram squared. <laughs> we have students who have actually played before and come in to assist. So we really have a group of, we have a, a unit that actually works together along with myself and Mr. Williams. We actually start in, just as the quiz competition is finished, we start in April, we recruit and we basically have a program where we, we actually test people to see whether they have the fortitude for a quiz and then we move from there and we may take a break maybe in May for exams and then we start in July. Beatrix Matana was that Czech composer. In order for us to plan for a training session, we do several things, one of which is an agenda, a timetable, and once we prepare the timetable, then the players are assigned those particular um, areas and they are allotted certain time within which to, to complete their assignment and uh, not only time but in terms of accuracy with the information that they have to provide. So that's how we're planning. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. That is going to be the symbol. What it takes for a team to win school challenge is a lot of things. It is not just four players sitting around the desk in the studio. It has to do with tenacity, it has to do with research, it has to do with skill set. We teach our players how to win. We teach our players how to think. We teach our players how to lose as well. And we teach our players, most importantly, how to be sharp, competitive, how to outplay your opponents. And we also teach our players how to research. The team that actually executes on the day. The team that has the mental fortitude, the, the, the stability to follow instructions. That's the team that will always win quiz. For a new coach, the most I would say is that if someone is going to be a new coach for any school challenge team, you have got to have one thing in, um, in your head, commitment, dedication, hard work, and you must have the, the tenacity to be a winner. Happy anniversary school challenge quiz from the six time champions, Arden High School. My name is Kyle Dedrick coach of Monroe College. Monroe College is one of the original 24 schools that started the competition and tie with Arden with the amount of wins six. Their last win was in 2017. Well I've been coaching for the last nine years. It should be ten seasons. This is my tenth season and I started coaching at Woolmers Boys back in 2009. It's a lot of work. First and foremost um, the hours as it relates to um, putting the, the material together and then having these boys practicing with the material, then having the, the, the essence of teamwork, all of which is, uh, requires a lot of hard work and dedication. Generally I work as a, as a lone coach, however I'll have persons who assist me on a, on, a, on a timely basis, but the majority or the bulk of the work is done by me. Our training session is, is a very long one, it starts immediately after school which is at 3 o'clock and it ends most of the time at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, midnight. That, that's, um, it's a boarding school, so we're, we're, we're allowed to, to stay up and get the hours in. But we basically um, sacrifice day in, day out, seven days per week. Almost half, half the entire day is dedicated to, to acquiring knowledge and skill. I would assume that I have a winning team every year because it's basically the same amount of sacrifice. However, there are differences as it relates to the uh, personality of the individuals, but in terms of the, the level that is required to win, we actually try to meet that expectation on a, on, a, on a yearly basis. So basically we have a, a good understanding of what type of team is good enough to win the competition. For a new coach, I would say you are to use a lot of reference. 
you was good teams, for example, you can look at the KC, you can look at the Wilmers Boys, the St. Diego, the teams that have done well over the years, you can actually try to emulate some of those um, that you'd, you'd have seen and try to make a hybrid from, from the, 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 the core of the, the, the best team that you have, you have um, seen. When we come back, coaching to success. Happy 50th anniversary school challenge quiz from the Monroe College quiz team. Bowers, you want to ask you? Bowers, you want to ask you? Eat me, want to, want to eat me, Bowers.